I was in a very hard moment, hard time in my life. And uh, uh, I thought that I quickly thought that it could be, you know, uh, my last chance. You know what I mean? I'm totally different from Massimo. And uh, every time I fell in love with a character, I fell in love because it's a very big challenge. Like this is a movie based on a fiction. Hi, Mikhail. We're so happy to have you. And thank you so much for taking time out for an Indian publication. Thank you so much for doing this. Thank you. Thank you for this. You know, there's been a lot of interest in 365 Days. And for those of our viewers who don't know, I'd like to read the description that's on Netflix. Um, it says a woman falls victim to a dominant mafia boss who imprisons her and gives her a year to fall in love with him. And it's based on an erotic uh, novel. So to begin with, you know, I want to ask you, um, this is your first big international break. Um, how did it come to you? How did the community <laughs> come to you? And uh, what made you say yes to the project? I was in a very hard moment, hard time in my life. And uh, uh, I thought that I quickly thought that it could be, you know, uh, my last chance, you know what I mean? So I decided to just go to to Poland and and try, you know, just try. Facing the character uh, it was a very big challenge for me because I'm totally different from Massimo. And uh, every time I fell in love with the character, I fell in love because it's a very big challenge. Otherwise, I don't like to play something that is near near myself. I'm talking about psychological, you know. And uh, it was a big challenge because Massimo has a very, very uh, deep issues, for example, with sex and stuff. And uh, I just wanted to understand what comes in inside the head of someone who has this, those kind of, you know, issues. The female character in the film, did you think when you read the script, did you think that it should have had more agency in terms of, you know, because a lot of her character is sort of seeming out to be, she has been kidnapped, but while she's out, she's like, oh, you know, let me shop a little which doesn't really come across as the best thing to a viewer for somebody, for a woman who's been kidnapped. And we are talking about the fiction, you know what I mean? We're talking about someone else's vision, so someone who wrote the book uh, that did just invent a story. And, uh, uh, and I quickly liked the story. And uh, for example, if we're talking about the, the beauty and the beast, also the beast kidnapper. But then it was the beauty's choice to be with the beast, right? Um, it was her decision. So I don't think it's so fair. No, no, no. Sense. It's completely the same because and, and at a certain point, if you think about uh, when you watch the movie, there's a scene that they are together and Laura tells Massimo, I don't need 365 days. And Massimo say, because? Because I love you. So if you think about it, it was her decision to be with Massimo. Yeah, but you know, in the beginning, she does say that, you know, you you say that you won't tie her down, but then the character does tie her down. I mean, those I want, differences do happen in the plot is what I'm trying to understand. I, uh, Massimo tried to uh, tell her this, like, I don't, I don't want to tie you, like, I, as if she was meaning psychological, you know. And uh, when she when she when she get tired, uh, it was a part of the game. You know, it was a part of the fiction. You know, you said in one of your Instagram lives that you're still trying to understand what people are saying about it, uh, about the film. Some people are saying that it romanticizes the idea of kidnapping and rape. Um, I'm trying to understand from you. Uh, was that something that you were? expecting or was that is it something that's come as a total shock to you and you're trying to understand why people are saying what they're saying no i mean it's uh, uh first of all as i told you like we're like this is a movie based on the fiction i'm i i made my job my work Yay. and uh, and uh like uh, uh, of course, it's part of the game. Some people like the movie. Some people don't like the movie. It's incredible. It was going to be incredible if uh, everyone liked the movie. I mean, it's crazy, you know. <laughs> so I just made my job. And uh, of course, I was expecting like some people not to like the movie. But uh, it's part of the game. Coming to the music, Mikhail, how did that happen to you? How did it fall in um, the whole scheme of things? At what stage was it decided that you are going to do the music also?
the film? Actually, we decided like it happened. Everything happened after one one uh, one dinner that I made with the director, and he fell in love uh, of one of my songs that I've done before, and he told me that he was gonna be inside the if I was happy that the song Dark Room was gonna be inside the movie, and I'm. I was totally okay. And it's weird, like, and it's totally uh, unusual when when there's a, uh, the main character of the movie also makes the soundtrack of for that movie. Thank you so much for doing this with us. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day.